this is what we're talking about right here is the LSL material. As far as that product, when it hits the ground and it hits the job site, I can go out there and send any of my guys out there at any given point, tell them I want a stick of material, they can go out there and grab it and bring it in, and it's straight. I don't have to worry about it, having a bow, having a check, being split. When I'm putting the material to itself, you have to adjust the pressure on your compressors and let that pressure come through a lot harder to set that nail. It's, it's just so simple. If you do the mathematics correctly and you've got a good framing crew that's used to using this type of material, you can work wonders with it and tie it into the to the structure above without a problem at all. Go with a top plate, just a conventional when top plate. When you're nailing regular lumber to this LSL, it grabs it a lot better. It just does. If you're planning on having your house open for you know let's say more than a month or two on a, on a big on a big frame where you're not going to get it dried in real quick you might want to go ahead and open up your openings about a quarter to three eighths more in case it does get some rain and you get some swelling um, it will not pull moisture out of the air and swell up but it will swell up upon moisture contact this is like such a crisp good corner on there and, and I can just run my plywood and it's just it turns out beautiful and uh, if y'all go down and take some pictures of the of the wall in the back, you can go down there and look, and it looks like we purposely set that up just for a sh uh, camera shot. But that's just how it's good beautiful. It, comes out. it really makes it makes walls that are just about straight as glass. I mean, these yeah. things look perfect. Mm -hmm. 